Full disclosure, to start off, I was prepared to fully immerse you into the heart of Avi as I kind of fully engaged in character today. I was really excited about that. Um, and I jumped online. And even though I would personally consider a yellow spandex bodysuit as an essential item, um, apparently Amazon does not. So I'm, I'm not I'm not prepared to fully immerse myself in the Avi character, but I'm going to do my best to kind of give you some Avi philosophy here. So let's spend a little bit of time talking about collaboration and fun. So to answer that question, I think what we need to do is kind of zoom out one level because I kind of feel like that fits underneath an umbrella. And that umbrella is the importance of establishing a healthy learning environment and maintaining that in our classrooms. And this is a concept that we talk about a lot in AVID. Let me give you a couple of examples. So um, a healthy learning environment is one that we would consider safe. Um, so we talk about physical safety, safety, and we also talk about psychological safety a lot. And so this is why when you come to AVID professional learning or you look at AVID curriculum, we invest heavily in things like norms and social contracts and developing relational capacity among our students. Um, a healthy learning environment is also inclusive of all students. And so every single student feels individually valued. They can see themselves in the curriculum. Um, this is where our culturally relevant teaching materials come in. This is also where our, our resources for English language learners comes in, is that when students feel safe and valued, this is when learning happens. Um, specifically, like our disciplinary literacy suite says, this is where academic risk taking occurs. I love that phrase there. So how does that connect with collaboration and fun? Um, so I would say collaboration and fun are involved in this conversation around a healthy learning environment for two reasons. So first off, uh, collaboration and fun are catalysts or an accelerant towards building a healthy learning environment. The more that we can bring collaboration and fun in that physical safety, that psychological safety, that inclusivity rises for all students. But secondly, one that we haven't, we don't talk about a lot is that I think that fun and collaboration are great thermometers for your classroom to see if you have been able to establish a healthy learning environment. Um, if your students can't work together or if they're not smiling and laughing occasionally in your class, that, that might be a sign that there's some unhealth in your classroom. It might be an early warning sign for you. And, and I would just recommend that if that's the case, we just lean into that um, because we know that if students don't feel safe, um, when there is emotional dysregulation um, is the phrase that social emotional theory has taught us. When, when there's emotional dysregulation, we can't access the executive function parts of our brain and our learning is inhibited. inhibited. So one final thought about that. Um, one more thing about fun. The good thing about fun is that it's, it's fun. It, it brings joy to our lives. Uh, we are humans and we are hardwired to crave joy. Um, so it's a good reminder that, you know, you don't teach algebra, you don't teach Spanish, you don't teach art. You teach students and students are humans. And having fun in our classroom creates human connectedness. It helps us feel alive. So I want to close this out in this um, Ask Abby section by uh, the quote that we've all heard from Maya Angelou, but I ju it just came to mind a lot of times as I was prepping for this. Um, she said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never, never forget how you made them feel. And so my question to you is, how do your students feel? Um, how do my students feel today? Is my classroom a healthy learning environment for every single student? And I think those are questions worth asking ourselves as educators every single day. And lastly, I would encourage you, don't be afraid to put on your own yellow spandex bodysuit, um, at least metaphorically for your students. So there you go, Jen. Hope that helps out with our Ask Abby segment this week. Look forward to uh, seeing what you guys are doing to maintain a healthy learning environment, even in these crazy times that we're in right now. Thanks.